is back now with another In Your Space segment with a spring theme, and yeah. we're painting. Today we're using chalk paint. Mm -hmm. So this is my first time ever experiencing chalk paint. It is a lot of fun, and you save the prep time. You don't really have to do anything you don't have before to prime. applying it. Yeah. So today we're making some crates. I figured with Easter around the corner, March break right now, what a great craft to do with your kids. Mm -hmm. And we're going to show some pictures of all the different applications that you can put on uh, for chalk paint. Because you're seeing it, it's kind of got that, that uh, shabby chic look kind Absolutely. of thing. It's so beautiful. So today we're going to show you how to make a crate, but what a great idea to do furniture. Mm -hmm. And this is just an example to show you the different colors, the different textures you can do, because Chalk paint is known for its distressing capabilities. Right, so it's easy to sand off. But Absolutely. now, how is it like durability-wise, though? So here's the thing. If you're not using something all the time, like this crate that we're going to demonstrate, you can just use the chalk paint on its own. However, if you're doing a seat, per se, you want to wax it afterwards. Oh, OK. And okay. that makes it last that much longer. The chalk's not going to flake off. And it makes it easier to distress. Gives okay. it a polished look. Stupid question. The chalk won't come off on your clothes. No. It's not like chalk chalk. No. no. Okay, so it comes in containers like yep. this. So I just bought these at Michael's. So these were $14.99. I found that to be a little bit expensive because it's such a small container. Yeah. However, you're saving on the primer. There's no prep work involved in this. Right. And you do not have to sand. However, I personally like to sand because I like the texture. Okay. So let's paint. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you use a brush, if you use a sponge. How am I going to get this into there? <laughs> <laughs> you just dip. You just have fun with it like that. Okay. There you go. So it's just it just goes on like. Oh, this is my first experience. Have with the fun paint. with it. Oh, so it's kind of thick then. Yeah, and that's another great thing about chalk paint is that you only need one coat because it is so thick. So again, you're saving the money there. So it's worth the investment to buy the chalk paint initially. Mm-hmm. And how, how about, oh no, okay, how about drying time? It dries in about 20 minutes. Okay. Um, but if you want to be really cautious, say you're using furniture, I would let it sit for 24 hours before you bring that in your house. And how long before you can wax it then if you're? Again, wait 24 hours before you are waxing. Okay. Now the nice thing about waxing is they've got a clear wax that gives it a polished look. If you want to get into some distressing and antiquing, yep. there's also a black wax. So you can mix the two together, you can put the clear wax on first, and then just and you get put those the black wax on the corner. Edges then? Exactly. Yeah. So that's, that's to antique it. To distress it, what you would do is take your sandpaper, and actually, we'll show you with a mason jar. Okay. So this is just one project that you yep. can do with the kids for Easter. I was thinking the pastel colors are so great. This is our second project right here. So this, of course, is a mason jar. And you can see the distressed look on it, Annette. I believe that's a cur jar, actually. Well, <laughs> yeah, that is a cur jar. OK, so. You can tell by the writing. Let's so get is you, this. Let's get you to start painting that. OK. And we'll show you how quickly it does, in fact, start to dry. And then super easy. It's known for its distress. OK, so I'm just going to so. do it where it's, OK. Awesome. Okay, right. so let's let that dry. And the one that is actually dry, I want you to try just distressing a little piece of it. Okay. So you're just using sandpaper. Mm -hmm. any, just rub that any gauge on. of sandpaper nope. or doesn't matter? That's what's fun about it too. You get to be really creative. It's all about the texture and the look that you want. You're using a really bristly, dense brush. You're going to get more texture when okay. you apply the paint. Now, how do you do that so that, I guess you have to, because I've rubbed off some of the, the color on the. But it comes off so easily, right? OK, yeah. Now, how, so you have to do the whole thing then, because you're going to get these you marks on You don't have on, to. On only, only the spots that you want. You can see that I've already kind yeah. of taken off some of the paint there. And that's how easy it is. Very cool. So I was thinking for something like this, for kids, especially because chalk paint is water-based, mm -hmm. it's easy, easy to, clean to clean up. It washes right off, which is fantastic. But if you filled this up with goodies for the kids for Easter, it kind of looks like an Easter egg mm -hmm. when you put the oh, lid on there. Cute. I like it. In one of the photos, too, it showed it almost like at a, at a bridal table, a wedding table or something, yeah. right, where they had the different colors of pink with the peonies in it and So stuff. great for the kids for Easter, and then mom and dad get to use it on display afterwards. There you go. That you were going to show another thing that you can do with it. I'm just going to okay, move this out so of the way. Okay, so of course we started painting our crate. Yeah. Great for the kids for Easter. They so this one is all painted. They put it in here. Then you can also put it in your house afterwards. So I thought this would be great for a living room. Sit beside your couch. Prop your pillows in there, your blankets. You can also hang them on the wall and use it as like a basket. Oh, kind of like, like a, sh or a shelf. Yeah, that's yeah, a good a idea. Exactly. So there's many uses for 
the crates, but I just thought it would be a really fun Easter craft with the kid. Okay, we've and got 30 seconds. Are you gonna, are you gonna oh, do and your white stuff thing. here? Okay, so of course, we talked about antiquing it with the black wax. This is just another option. So this is just a multi-surfaced paint. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put some down so that I can dab into okay. it. And this is a detailing brush. Again, you can use a thick bristle brush uh, to give a little bit more texture. Gonna dab a little bit of that off, and then you would just play with it. So you just add some texture to it around the corners to give it a little bit of a different look. Oh, very cool. Okay, we've run out of time, but we can, uh, we'll show this again on chch.com. Thanks for and painting with a, me. A link on your blog. Thanks for introducing me to chalk painting. So there's a, a cost breakdown there of the uh, project that we did today. And we'll be back to wrap up Morning Live right after this. We'll put it in a pretty crate. <laughs>